So I will be speaking about uh, Nemo Mobile, which is our operating system, which is de developed community or only in community. Uh, we are developing it on the PinePhone, which I have here. Uh, we are developing it on the QtPy. And uh, yeah, let's, let's look how it looks like. Uh, so we uh, have tested the, the system also on, on PinePhone Pro, uh, which I don't have, but the, the other guy, Sergey, have, have PinePhone Pro. Uh, there is uh, Volaphone, uh, which is developed by German company Vola, uh, and uh, one guy from Ukraine, if I remember correctly, Luca Panio uh, developed uh, adaptation for, for Volaphone, which is based on Helium. So, so basically it is using Android kernel and uh, um, it works somehow. Uh, we are still in very early phases of development. I would say I'm doing that about one year. And uh, um, there is more features which doesn't work than which works. You can also port your own device. Uh, um, and uh, if you want to do so, uh, we, I will try to help you with that. So what works and what doesn't? Um, well, um, um, main features are working. So um, user interface and keyboard, Wi-Fi, it mostly works. Um, also the phone calls work somehow. Um, it's connected, but um, the um, audio is not transmitted or not, not going to, to the speaker. So I can send those devices if you want to feel the experience. So the, the QtPi, the tablet, is a Raspberry Pi based tablet. Um, main issue with, with Raspberry Pi it is uh, that it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have uh, um, power management, so the power button and the battery charging is uh, made extra and uh, uh, it's not supported well by standard drivers, so, so it doesn't show the, the level of battery and uh, you are not able to, to uh, turn it off uh, by simply by clicking on, on battery. Uh, those devices are in presentation mode, so it doesn't go uh, into sleep mode right now. Uh, the Nemo Mobile was originally uh, based on the Sailfish OS or on, on Mer project. Uh, the Mer project is uh, Migo resurrected, if I remember correctly. And uh, uh, the Mer project had pretty old components, so, and it was very tightly uh, built with, with Sailfish OS, or the Sailfish OS was using the project and uh, maintaining it similar like Red Hat is working on Fedora, so, and the Red Hat mainly uh, decide what direction uh, will the Fedora be. So in, in case of Sailfish OS and uh, Mer project, it was similar. And finally, uh, the Sailfish OS guys decided to, to take the components from Mer project and to maintain it inside it, its own distribution. Uh, there are some differences, so we decided to not to maintain some, some components. We decided to uh, go to new version of Qt. Uh, 
we decided to, to leave the, their security model. So there is cell jail, there is some MDM is machine device manager, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we are trying to make it simpler. Uh, and uh, we moved to Manjaro because we don't want to maintain GCC uh, and those things. We just want to make the, the, the mobile operating system. So I personally want uh, to work only on UI and uh, phone-related stack, but not uh, auto tools, for example. Uh, Um, so, how it looks like? It, this is this is overview of, of the components you can uh, or applications you can see in, in them on devices, and uh, uh, the user experience is, let's say, poor. Uh, but we are working on it. Uh, we are still using old Qt Quick controls. We want to migrate to Qt Quick Controls 2 and Qt 6. Uh, we want to reuse KDE PIM stack instead of Qt PIM uh, because we don't want to maintain Qt PIM. Uh, we want to return all, all our changes to upstream, so we don't want to maintain more than we really need. Uh, we want to keep compatibility with other distros if possible. So it would be great if we can run applications from Sailfish OS, but the Silica API is uh, closed source. Uh, but it, it can be re-implemented. And actually, there are some, some uh, experiments with that. So if you want, I, I can point to the right repository, and you can improve the, the port of Silica. Uh, and for sure, uh, we can be compatible with Plasma Mobile or Ubuntu Touch. So how you can start with the uh, Nemo Mobile? We have pretty nice uh, web page where everything is described. Uh, basically, I started with a um, installation of Manjaro on desktop. I have installed all the packages. There is some command which selects all packages from certain repository, and you end up with a, this kind of system where, where you just run lipstick command, and you have the, the basic user environment from the mobile phone. Uh, then you can start uh, some, uh, some application and uh, um, debug it, develop it, whatever. Uh, you can also start the, the application um, independently um, in, in Qt Creator, for sure. And uh, then you can, you can debug your application. The architecture is pretty much similar to Sailfish OS 1, so the, all the um, communication with hardware is done through some, some middleware. So for, for modem, it is Ophono. Uh, we are considering migration to uh, modem manager. Uh, but Ophono works for us somehow so far. Uh, and uh, the communication with those middlewares are done usually through the bus. Uh, So the, those are applications. Uh, so you can install it in this way in your virtual machine and uh, do it like that. Who have PinePhone here? I have one. OK, you can install it on PinePhone very easily. So just grab the image uh, and uh, use DD or maybe also Fedora Media Writer, and you have uh, bootable system, um, but right now uh, you should either take the, the virtual machine or uh, you can try to port it to, to some Android device. Uh, we have um, 
those QT quick con controls, which uh, are used for uh, basic user environment. Um, it, everything could be visible on our website, so uh, it looks like that. So you can use those progress bars, etc. Et uh, uh, then you have uh, the home screen, which is built on Lipstick and uh, Glacier Home. So Lipstick is the compositor, uh, Wayland compositor, and uh, um, there you have those three home screens, uh, one with a uh, list of applications, one is the task switcher, and uh, the third one is event feed, and this is lock screen. And then you can see all the applications with some screenshots, um, which we are trying to update sometime. Um, so we, I will be happy if you contribute, or if you at least try it. Um, you can contribute with documentation. As you can hear, my English isn't perfect, so, so I will be happy if you, if you fix documentation. Uh, I will be happy if you make some pull request on our repositories, so most of things uh, are on GitHub, and uh, um, we are building it on top of Manjaro, so, so those aren't uh, RPM spec files, but it's pretty similar. Uh, so this, is, this, this repository is like, like main place to, to know where to start, where to look for some components. So if you want to change dialer, you will see that it's Glacier Dialer app, and uh, um, here is a URL which is uh, constructed by, by some var uh, variables. Uh, you can see also dependencies and, uh, and everything, so, so this is like a good place to start with code. Uh, I have uh, uh, linked all the repositories from GitHub or the main repositories from GitHub to Transifex. So if you speak other language, then check. Uh, there are plenty uh, work, and it's it's very easy. If you don't know how to write a code, then you can probably probably translate. And um, uh, in my opinion, the translation is very good starting point or point also for developers. Uh, when you translate part of project, then you know at least about its features, so it's a it's good way to start to understand how the project is, is built and what it consists of. Uh, yeah, we are trying to, to uh, do some nice user experience. Uh, uh, the Nemo Mobile is fully open source uh, alternative to mainly to Sailfish OS, but also to Migo Harmatan. So the user experience tries to be similar, uh, and uh, we are looking for someone who can, who can uh, make some mock-up, who can draw some behavior which will be like nice, user-friendly, and we will try to implement that. Um, yeah. For sure, if you are, uh, if you are uh, testing the device, uh, you, can, you can give us the feedback, which is very important. You can tell us which parts are broken the most, and we will try to fix that. Um, and if you are happy with that, or if, if you like it, we will be also happy. Let us know that, that you like our project. And yeah, for sure, you can give us some money. Uh, yeah, that tablet I, I planned to buy from, from donation, but the, the uh, guy from company was faster than me, and he, he sent it to me for free. So thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. 
when you are trying to, to uh, contribute with code, uh, I am, okay, uh, I'm, I'm writing some summary report for projects every month and I'm trying to summarize also bugs and I, I'm also trying to find some bug which will be somehow interesting, usually somehow different. So there is bug to start with section in, in those blog posts. Uh, yeah, and the good way is to, to try to update your package and, uh, and uh, to build own uh, image and try it on your own device. Um, yeah, and that's it. I hope there will be a lot of questions. Nothing. So, like, if I want to do a first party application, how do I get to the demo of our device? Is there some, like, way how to do it? Is it, like, the expected way to, like, provide people with time to make it built? Or is there some, like, third party repository that you can use? Yeah, that the question is how to add uh, third party application to Nemo Mobile. Um, oh, it, it depends. So we are building it on top of Manjaro, so it depends if the application is uh, like native for, for Nemo Mobile. Um, if it's not, then, then you probably can consider to package it for Man Manjaro and it could be installed. By the way, if, if, it's you, if you are speaking about Modrana, which is your, your application, I already have packaging for it. And, uh, and we can maybe try to install it and you will see the, the experience on, on the device. Uh, if you are speaking about, uh, let's say, native Nemo Mobile uh, user experience, then uh, we can, uh, you should start uh, on your GitHub and we will create some repository in our group and we will merge your changes in that, in that repository. Is that one answer on your question? Great. Some other questions? So what do you think about devices? If you don't have question, I have. <laughs> And like personally, I think the one of the most important devices is I think still the Pine Phone most likely because that's something that's quite easily available even though like the hardware is not perfect. I think it's important that you can still get it quite easily as well as making the applications and the system run just on your computer. Like that lowers the entry barriers a lot in my opinion. Yes, yes, I agree. Uh, well, and it, it is good that Pine Phone is running with more or less upstream kernel, uh, so it's uh, better than, than porting uh, changes to some Android, Android kernel and uh, adapting the kernel to run with, with standard Linux tools. So yeah, the, the Pine phone is really uh, really device to choose if you want to develop like open source alternatives.